He's waking up. And noticing she is gone. Actually, he vaguely remembers hearing her leave. Now that he thinks about it. Oh boy. Well, within the next couple of minutes, he will find out whether or not he's been conned. He's thinking of what she could get. Figure the laptop, Simi's camera, passport. Not sure if that's worth something. So it's worth something to him, though. Cash and cards. Free place to stay for the night. He figures there's an 8% chance that she got him. Well, let's check on the way to grabbing a couple eggs out the fridge. He's made it to the side of the bed, but he's noticing something over next to the love seat. Her earrings. Her earrings fell off their armrest. He's assuming these are hers. Was she wearing earrings? Probably, who knows. Well, the laptop is here. Camera's here. Looks like everything's where he left it on the table. Okay, she left her card here. He's going to text her now before he forgets. Phone's on the bed. Actually, he's got a text from Melissa here. Wait, first... Hi, it's Thomas. Are these your earrings that were on, not in, on the side of the couch? Question mark. Send. Okay, text from Melissa. PM contradictory info about Monday. Might want to rewrite. He didn't mention your name specifically, but we both know he would love to know that you're on call. Of course he would. Apparently I'm the cleaner, he's thinking. All right, reply. No problem, just let me know. Send. Okay, so he's already gone too long without that stupid camera. So he's got to take that with him. Figures probably a small chance he has to write something. And he could do it on his phone, technically. The laptop sling isn't too bad. He may as well just take it. That's going to weigh him down. But whatever. Okay, Aaron says... My mother's earrings. Honestly, you can just toss them. I'm tired of those things anyway. Thanks. Should he? Should he not? Eh, may as well. Reply. If your mother gave you these earrings, you should have them. Even if you don't wear them. I'll bring them to you. To you. Okay. What else do I have to do? Period. Send. I got a message. It's the address and time to meet her. Actually, that might take a while. He's gonna have to get going. Kind of likes how every day is its own thing. 
Every day has a completely different mood to it. And everyone kind of shares that mood. It's not quite that distinct where he's from. He also wondered if it's just the weather shaping his perception of everyone. Probably not. Although I guess you could argue that's proof of what he was thinking. You wouldn't think it'd be so easy to lose your bearings in a grid system. Sorry. Were you waiting a long time? No, no, I, I pretty much just got here. Looks like we both got unwieldy bags weighing us down, huh? Well, your mother gave them to you, so maybe you should keep them. Well, is that a privilege? You don't have to buy me lunch, by the way. That's for sure. True story, I actually stopped at the flea market around the corner to see how much those earrings would get me on the open market. What? Very funny. I believe MP stands for market price. Sorry to disappoint you. Sounds like a good way to start a pandemic. What's that? I was about to say, there's nothing, there's really not much you can say eating cow puppies over there. What's wrong with that? And why is there, why is there a right and a wrong to it? Remember, you know, like a lot of things, you know, guys aren't even like capable of experiencing all the nuances and pleasures of taste that you guys can. I heard that from the although I believe it was Probably not, seeing as corn's not really a food. I meant to ask for a substitute actually. Here you, you can have it if you want. Well you can't say we're afraid of commitment, right? I mean, if I like something, you know, I'll stick with it until I've killed it. Then I'll move on to the next one. You know, maybe, maybe the way you guys eat is like a reflection of how you guys are like female octopuses. Octopuses? Octopuses. Maybe you want to pocket some sperm from a whole bunch of different types of octopuses so you can have like, you know, diverse babies.
but you're more sneaky about it. So you, you know, you slide guys through the back door where the alpha male can't see what you're doing because he's too big and slow. Tastes like wine to me, so thank you for making my point. When are you guys getting married? We don't have a date yet. Yeah, we'll go up with a goal? Nope. Not since last year. What? Nothing really. Just kind of ran its course. You've been on the dating app since you came? No, I kind of forgot about it actually. I'm not going to be here that long anyway, so. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean that's generally how it might go, but there's a lot of back and forth. <clears throat> well, I mean, you could argue. I would argue either one going after the other makes some makes some biological sense, I guess. Especially in modern society. Can we get the trip with the thing? So what are you gonna do with us tonight? I have no plans, man. I guess I'll just walk around, got my friend's camera, taken a total of zero pictures so far. Maybe I'll find something to take pictures of, I guess. I'm not good with heights, man. I gotta tell you, it's not really. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. Okay, I wish Star Wars would die already. Three was fine. The whole thing's out of control at this point. do make a point of thinking here and there you know what I mean. on occasion I, I I guess I don't know how to answer that you ever met a date? I tried it once never really went back to it I'm sure it's good for a lot of people well, like that. you said she was like that Here, I'd like to at least pay for mine, if you don't mind. This, <clears throat> seriously, I'd like to split it, please. There you go. I'm just going to put that in there. If you could just split that two ways, please. Thank you so much. What? Jesus Christ. God damn it. Uh, sure. I'm putting it in my pocket.
Well, I don't want it now. I can't have it for later? Not anymore, no. It's a symbol of my social ineptitude. Thank you for lunch, by the way. It was, it was nice. I haven't had a lunchtime drink in a while. You don't find your performance it drops a little bit when you do that? Yeah, I know for me, like, even if I have like one or two drinks, my mind's not really working full sail for like 24 hours. I think it lowers your inhibitions though. I mean it does obviously, but I feel like I feel like that doesn't really tell the whole story. To me it feels like it just completely changes how your mind works. It mostly it weakens your sense of consequence. Which could be good or bad, depending. And a proper cup of tea. Can't believe they had loose lapsang sushong. It's like my favorite. Loose lapsang sounds like the worst diagnosis your doctor can give your 16 year old daughter. See, it's not that easy. We're still doing this? You satisfied? This ambulance is just sitting here, stuck in traffic. Remind me not to get stabbed around here. I'm guessing all the honking is like artistic expression or what? I don't, I don't see what it's doing. guys drive, I feel like it's best to wait for the light. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The Flashers Hall of Fame? I told you about that. That's why I said you should go. I thought you were kidding. No. So is there really a hooker's museum? What kind of twilight zone am I in right now? I'm guessing Lexus Kuntash is a person, not a sponsor. Wait, hold on. You break it, you bought it? 
across the street. It says since 1969. I'm a cancer? Oh, you're talking about my sign? Yeah. Nope, I'm not playing that game. See, that's how it goes every single time. The person never gets it within like four or five guesses. I mean, you'd think the broken clock would be right like, you know, once out of 12, but no, never, they never get it. And then when you tell them what you are, they're like, oh yeah, of course, makes, makes perfect sense. I knew it the whole time. Yeah, you definitely... Thank you. Oh, that's right. Excuse me. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. No problem. Thanks. It was an honest mistake, I think. I saw he wasn't paying attention when I gave him the money. I mean, he's got a cat inside. They're jumping on stuff. I'm starting to add this up. Is there any neighborhood that I would want to be caught in 25 years ago? Why would you say something like that? Well, looks like you need more practice at that. You do know there was an elevator back there, right? There you go. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with these? What is this? It says fiber one, but it should be called sugar 36. I'm not going to toss it on the ground. Yeah, I was wondering why it was fenced off like that. I was just thinking about something. That park, that park we just passed with the fence, you pointed out. You said it's private, right? So like, who can get in though? So, so I would imagine like a good number of, a pretty good percentage of people that can get in there or have a key are getting up there are getting up there in age. 
So what happens if, like, you have a heart attack, like, in the middle of the park? I mean, how, how are the paramedics supposed to get in? <laughs> is, that, is that not a problem, I guess? You just, you assume they're old, you let them die, or? I mean, of course, assuming they make it through traffic. <laughs> they're just, they're stuck on the outside. I'm sorry, lady, but we don't have a key. <laughs> What's the code? <laughs> what is the code? <laughs> Toss the key. Toss it. You can do it! <laughs> I mean, I mean, we want to help! We, we brought our stuff and everything! <laughs> I climbed the fence, but Trump had all the spikes electrified! Ooh. You know, he's not so bad, you know. <clears throat> Sorry? <clears throat> you know Obamacare? The health system that he put in, that Obama put in. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I just know a little bit about it. He didn't even sign up the many people. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. I've never been to Washington, actually. Oh, it, is, it is gorgeous. It is absolutely stunning. If you make it down there, you have to go to I mean, the lobby <clears throat> is it's just amazing. All right. I'll have to check it out. Doesn't seem like she believes a single word she just said. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks again for lunch. Yeah. Have a good one. He's continuing in the same direction, like he's headed somewhere in particular. Actually, let's go this way. Well. That's a shame. After all that. He kind of feels bad for her. Like he wants to go back and ask that poltergeist what he did with her. Well, he's got the camera. And a grand total of zero pictures. For the week. She insisted on something touristy. So... Let's try something touristy. <laughs>